Fear and self-doubt have always been the greatest enemies of human potential. Brian Tracy. But being at St Francis guarantees that these never get in the way, ensuring that every girl realises her full potential. St Francis College fuels ambition in everyone, reminding every girl that they are never aiming too high or dreaming too big. The student-teacher relationships go beyond the school curriculum. They go to inspiring us that no matter what we want to achieve, we can do it if we put our minds to it. Likewise, being surrounded by such hard-working and motivated young ladies also inspires us all to put in the work now to achieve our future dreams and not to stop until we get there. It certainly has for me. St Francis College is unique in that the exceptional teaching of the standard curriculum is only the start because of the expansive subject enrichment opportunities that are offered. The rigorous science department boasts a range of these, from the opportunity to complete CREST, STEM and Industrial Cadet Awards and participate in competitions including the Chemistry Cambridge Challenge and the Bio Biology Olympiad, to name just a few. In addition to this, the Maths Department gives students the opportunity to annually take part in the UKMT Challenges. The Language Department allows students to take part in the MFL Spelling and Translation B. And the History Department gives girls the opportunity to take part in the public speaking competition known as the Great Debate, with the final being held at Windsor Castle. These opportunities are just a few of the extensive list which allow girls, like they have done to, for me, to develop their knowledge further stimulating us to think beyond the curriculum. The range of extracurricular activities that St Francis College boasts is just as impressive as the subject enrichment ones. From completed DOV in the Lake District or Snowdonia to debating publicly at the Model United Nations, there are a plethora of opportunities which enable girls to develop wider qualities such as teamwork, leadership and self-confidence, ensuring they are best prepared for the future as possible. This leads me on to the self-development opportunities that the trips of St Francis offer. The True Adventure expeditions are, to say the least, life-changing experiences, with past destinations including Costa Rica, Borneo and Ecuador. Last year, I was fortunate enough to go to Costa Rica for over three weeks, and for both myself and my classmates, this was a transformative trip. The project work of these expeditions, which includes conservation work and helping rural communities, is exceptionally rewarding and we all returned with a new look, outlook on life and greater awareness of the wider world. The trip to the Kaniki project in Uganda, a project which we fundraised to support throughout the year, also provides an eye-opening insight into the hardships faced by people around the rest of the world. The six formers who are lucky enough to go have the opportunity to help teaching in a local primary school and help medical staff in a local HIV clinic, all whilst enduring a completely different standard of living to what we are used to back here in the UK. It's these trips that allow us to develop into mature individuals, ready to face whatever challenges life may throw at us. The final thing St Francis does best is that it ensures our years spent in education really are the greatest years of our lives. From trips around the world to destinations including Amsterdam, Barcelona, Iceland and India, to sports clubs and fixtures around the county in all sports going, to the production of unforgettable concerts and theatre productions, the years spent at St Francis really are like no other. Now, I cannot tell you that you should come to St Francis. Evidently, that is a decision you will have to make yourself based on various factors. But I can tell you that for me, choosing St Francis College was one of the best decisions that I have ever made. And as I get ready to move on to the next stage of my education, I feel as best as prepared as I could ever be.